There you go, I've got a couple of pigeons caught in here. That's the whole feeding frenzy by the looks of all things. That's totally about it. And now everything's all going silent. Yet the geese are still grazing. Lovely, isn't it? Oh no, the dogs. They're all chasing the birds though, eh? That's not what I actually thought it would be. And that Doug is laughing, he thinks it's funny. No wait, she thinks it's funny. That's it. Let's see what's going to be in store for today's trip. Oh god, there's dogs invading the park here, eh? And guess what? There's the train here. I'm actually... Well, it looks weird. That looks like something you find in, like... In a zoo or a safari park. That is just weird. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and... See what other stuff is here. I love that train bell. It's amazing, isn't it? I see you right up. Right, um, here I am at the, uh, the Newtown Shopping Centre. And this is the place that I've actually came for. Uh, not these stores right here. Uh, but the store I'm all about is this place here. Birds for you. Look at that. There's parrots inside this place. How cool is that? Let's take a look and see what birds are inside here. There we go. Oh. oh, this is beautiful. Look at all the different birds that they've got here. Oh, that's so fantastic. Oh, there's a little rainbow lighty. Sad that this one's really lonely. Look at the first one here. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my god, lots of parakeets, bodyguards, cockatiels, that's Kanyu birds, my goodness me. And these birds here are Kanyu parrots, sun canoers, they love bonding. There's more Kanyu parrots, they actually enjoy bonding to each other. Just goes to show you how close parrots are. They're very social birds, fantastic birds, after all. And there's also lots of parakeets, both wing-necked and alexandrine parakeets. We've seen, I've already seen so many parakeets. Wow. And there's more of them clinging onto the, um, onto the cage. Probably best not to bang on the cages. But they are they're truly quite shy. And these two here, they're plum-headed parakeets. Oh, they're just so stunning. That's the female right here. And that there's the male. Whoops, I think I just spooked him. I just spooked him. <laughs> yeah, I just spooked that little bugger. That was unnecessary. And there's more birds right here. He's got more parakeets. There's both Alexandra and what's the doctor? Large. And Amazon. <laughs> oh my god, look at the two. Look like they're spinning the whole thing. I can't tell what parrot that is. Guardian parrot. It's a very strange looking parrot. I think we can turn the brightness on. So you can see the birds fairly clearly. It's not too bright. And here's the other side. I've got the plum headed cows. It's a bit dark right here. But you just can't see them. It's very close to this the male. There's the um, purple looking head. Colourful beak. Quite cute. And there's more birds here. There's some Oh my god, lots of noisy birds here. Lots of Javan sparrows. Zebra finches. Look at the way they just fly around and hop about. It's just stunning. We've got canaries. That's it. They're all 
just talking about. And right here, I'll just turn the buttons off. There's goldfish. Lots and lots of goldfish right here. There's more goldfish right here. Yeah, there's all kinds of different varieties. There's quite a few people here. And apart from apart from parrots and fish, we've also got looks like turtles. Quite a few turtles in that in that aquarium. It's very nice. We've got all kinds of birds, lots of parrots. So there you go, that's the whole place. It's amazing how parrots just simply move. And I'll tell you what, I'll never forget about this place. It's just wonderful. Lovely, uh, are these green cheek canoes? Who knows their bird species? I'm pretty sure I do. Best part about parrots is that they use their, their feet as their hands. Absolutely noisy buggers. And they also use their beak as their third limb when they're like climbing and stuff. Very clever. And looking at the way those parrots move, it's just so clever. Look at the way they just cling onto the cage of their beaks. Very awesome bird. And that's it. Look at all these canaries and finches. And those ones there are Java sparrows. They don't look like they're having that much fun. Maybe they do. Very lovely, cool looking birds. Oh my god. And then we've got more... I don't know what these... I think these are parakeets. Quaker monk parakeets. That there's a sun canoe. That's a green tooth canoe. And right down the bottom... I think these are... Palm had a parakeet. Very beautiful. I think I made a photo of them before. And then there's the fish. There to conclude the whole trip, as well as the turtles. Absolutely noisy birds. There's someone's cat. How cool is that? Well, this time I've actually decided to go to Sheldon Country Park because the plane has decided to take off. And as funny as this sounds, I haven't been to this place for basically quite, well, let's just say a few months ago. A lot of magpies, and yes, I'm making this video in early November. A lot of magpies here roosting. Maybe I might be able to see lots of jackdaws clinging onto the trees as they fly back to their roosting camp. And uh, who knows what planes we might be able to see. So far, 2024 has been highly productive in terms of how many videos I produce. And I might as well just take a pee right over in the forest so that I can just shut the hell up and just let those bystanding people just walk back to their homes. And who knows, hopefully not towards me. Oh god, I need to get away just a little bit. Oh no, I think I'm totally conflicted for peeing in this area. At least you didn't see it, but that's all I can really tell. Gonna go up towards this section here. It's quite nice, it's quite very much a, uh, a signature sound for autumn time. Walking through thick, fire-coloured leaves. Now, there's not many planes here, there's still people out and about. Even though we're in autumn time, we've got lots and lots of magpies. Straight forward at the background, there's so many magpies. Maybe about three to four of them, probably five. You know, oh, I think I can just hear a train right in the background. Yeah, there's actually not that many people out there. Now, I somehow chose this area a bit differently because, you know, it's more to do in the way of... Uh, Landing, that's why I've chose Sheldon Country Park. And I might have to bail out of this place very early because the days have actually gone shorter. And what's this? I probably presume, is that a giant mole hole? I believe there are a lot of moles that reside in this area. I wonder who has done a lot of digging. 
Maybe I probably guess they're like little, maybe rabbit holes. I can't really tell. Might be finding Bugs Bunny underneath this this little trench. All of it is just dirt. I mean, what the hell is all of that dirt? I'm just kicking dirt. It looks like I'm just digging and stuff. And I think we've got a plane landing. Let's see what it is. I think it's a Jet 2737. Might be totally wrong, but I think it's it. All oh, the birds are frightened. No, that was actually a Ryanair Boeing 737. I thought it was a Jet 2, but I was actually wrong. Oh, you can hear the tire squealing. Fantastic sound. Awesome and fantastic sound to hear. Fairly amazing. Amazing, you can even hear the jet plane engines whirring straight forward in the background very clearly. And amazingly, you can't hear that many people because obviously, look at that, not many people outside today. Just clearly shows you just how not so busy it actually is. Who knows, I might interact with that weird bunny hole. I've got no idea whoever's dug this weird bunny hole. I got a funny feeling I've actually dirtied my trainers and it wasn't just me I was actually just straight for dirtying it for the fun of it. A lot of magpies here they really seem to have a very good close bonding. Look at that just kick some more mud and dirt oh my god I bet it's not horse poop oh my gosh what's, this, what's with all this brown stuff here I might have to probably clean up my trainers before I tell you what, my parents would probably get very angry when they see this. They don't like it when it's all dirty and stuff. But I was just very curious. Yeah, I might have to just rub this section here. I was just kicking it, who knows? Just to find out if there are actual moles or bunny rabbits making a big mess here. I don't know. I'll just keep on filming and see what planes land here. And also in this case, take off. Bit different somehow, bit different it is. Yeah, strange enough, uh, it feels absolutely different. We're in basically late autumn, surprisingly chilly, and that's all I can pretty much say somehow. Very much chilly. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and straightforward look out for any other planes. I can't tell, there's actually more planes outside here, there's none. Well, I can still see lots of uh, other planes to see, but I'm just going to go ahead and walk up just towards here. I can't really tell if there's any more planes in that area, of course. I can see an ATR-72, that's on the hangars. But it's not really that clear, because I'm just going to focus on what other planes are going to be landing at this time, I'm sure. Yeah, it's actually quite relatively strange and a bit different and there's someone's dog walking here now, I can't see any planes at the moment but I'll just have a bit of a closer look and see what planes they are landing today and of course yes I'm just going to go towards the, uh, the further end which is of course on the left because obviously uh, I'm going to show that there might be planes landing even though there's none I've got my binoculars today so that I can just detect whatever plane is straightforward coming to land. Currently there's none and I don't think there's any other plane that's straightforward landing at the moment apart from is that a seagull? It looks like a seagull that's just straightforward yeah just already coming to land. Let me just see if there's any more planes that are about to land. Uh, I can't see any at all yet. I think when planes land at this section here, it actually takes much more, or should I just say far much more longer. And let's just set the main aisle. Bit different, isn't it? And of course here's there's a lovely little lonesome magpie just having a bit of a, a bit of a perch after flying. Let's see if I can go close to it. Oh, there you go, I think I've just stunned the two. Stunned the two of them already. How crazy is that? No planes yet. But we'll see about that. And there's actually a Ryan airplane that's actually straightforward coming to land. 
and there's someone's dog who's actually hawking at me. But that's okay, I'm just going to straight forward to see what that plane is. I'm just going to go up towards here. Minding other people a bit of space. Let me just see. I don't know. I'll just see what that plane is. Yeah, I'm actually quite curious. We've got a 737 from Rhino. Is that the same aircraft I've seen just before? Yeah, I've actually had to do a jump cut because there was a voice taking over. Um, I've just went a little bit close so that I can just see whatever plane is it. Uh, it's a 737 Ryanair, of course, because I just saw the livery of it. And most importantly, they've also got these fences. They're actually highly important for, like, protecting people against trespassing and also for safety reasons. This airport, of course, is not a playing ground. It's something else. And you know one other thing I'm also going to be thinking about? I'm not sure about next week, Saturday, because I also have to think about two weeks' time for my maiden departure to Malaysia, which will take place on the 15th. There's a lot of crows here. I'll try and film as much wildlife as possible as I can. Though, that being said, um, yeah. I have to see it to believe it somehow at at any time somehow. We've got a Ryan 737 that's just straightforward taxiing. I don't know where to. Sorry, it's out of focus. Um, yeah, uh, oh my goodness. Something a bit weird. I've just noticed there's a lot of billowing smoke right at the background. Uh, if I go back to where I might have seen that billow of smoke. Well, first off, I need to concentrate on the plane first. Let me just go to the other side. It's a bit rough and ready because I can't see what's coming yet. Okay. Yeah, I just can't see it very closely. If I go up towards the other side so that I can get away some spice. Maybe if I just zoom back a bit. Oh, it's the side to take off. Right. Straight forward. Yeah, it's basically going to take off now. Yeah, I can't actually go a bit closer because I think it's a bit... It's a bit small somehow. And actually when I'm going back to Malaysia, I think that might be the, um... Oh yeah, here it goes, it's taking off now. Straight forward. Um, the only favourable way, it's probably taking off from here. Versus the other side. Maybe taking off from the, uh... Well, let's just say the airport car park and the highway. Most likely that direction it will pass by. And it's about to go up. Very much so. Obviously, um, that's where most of us are flying out to. Yeah, straight for taking off. It's not very busy somehow, because there's not much in the way of aircraft this time. Um, since the clocks have just gone back, well, let's just say one hour backwards in a sense. I'm not sure if the flights are going to be straight forward, like, departing really, really earlier than usual. That's my gut feeling about it, but, man... I can really theorise on that. Well, apart from the 737 taking off, I've also got an ATR-72 plane that sounds like it's also about to depart. And what's also catching my eye is, is that there's some smoke. Lots of smoke billowing on the background. That's not a very healthy looking picture here. I wonder what's with all that smoke. Is that house on fire? I can't really tell. What is that? Is that something on fire? Someone needs to call the fire brigade about this. What's with all that bellowing smoke here? Uh, at least I'm not doing things very dangerously. I could get burnt. I hope it's not a forest fire. I don't know what that is, but what's with all that bloody smoke on the background? Okay, let me just see what plane it is. Okay, so we've got an ACS 72 I'm really surprised that big billowing of smoke was just right behind me. Well, let's just say 100,000 inches away from me. Let's just see what plane it is. Maybe if I go up towards uh, this bench right here, we'll see what plane is it. It's, I believe it's Aer Lingus. And we'll just sit right there. Even though it's not really the best viewing point, you can definitely see the plane. Okay, I might definitely detect the where it actually is. There it is, it's straightforward about to take off. 
somehow, I don't know if there's any more planes that might be able to take off later on in the whole day and stuff. I think taking off from here is actually a tad slower than it is on, well, let's just say where I film landing and stuff, and there's a bicycle taking over the video right here. I uh, can't see any planes landing yet, still. Um, actually, we've got an ATR-72 of what seems to be unknown airliner. I've got no idea what that is. It looks very generic. I don't think it has a branding on it. And I'm have to do a jump cut. There's a person walking here. And apart from the person walking on the background taking over my video, I can also see a Jet 2 Airbus A321neo that's also about to take off. Relatively loud, but that's how you know, relatively normal. And playing straight for taking off. It's going up really fast. And oh my gosh, I can really see the fire. It is straight forward like billowing right behind me. I'll have a look at it later on. Um there you go, there's the ATR-72, it's got no airliner name, it's not really that busy today somehow, not many planes, straightforward taking off and or landing, yeah it's not looking good somehow, but that being said it's not really that bad after all, what's that? I'm about to turn the brightness back on, and Oh my goodness me, it seems I've got two trains driving past by each other. There's a police car right here. I wonder what that police car is up to. I'm not doing anything suspicious. There's a magpie right over here. Don't know, at least it's not flying off and stuff. And there's a lot of magpie bird activity right here. Oh, it looks like I've got a plane landing. And oh my goodness me, look at all that smoke. That's just straightforward billowing out of the uh, of the sky here. I don't know what's with all that smoke and fire. That's very, very toxic and very hazardous. I don't know what's going on with that plane here. I might go as very close as I'd normally be like. Maybe I'll try and, uh, who knows, what's a very good uh, viewing point for that plane. Uh, let's take a look what plane it is. I'm just going to take a look at what plane is it. I'm just going to... I can't really tell what it is from the binoculars and stuff. But man, looking at all that smoke, I believe that looks like fire. Uh, I don't know what's with that fire and smoke. I don't know what's going on here. Someone needs to call the fire brigade. Or is it someone else's chimney? It could be someone else's house that's burning. I hope it's not very much something that is very toxic, but at least it's not that hazardous to like flying conditions and stuff. Oh, I think it's a 737. Oh, here it comes. We've got a Boeing 737 that's straight forward coming to land. Oh, where's well, the best viewing of, um, orientation? It's coming to land. I'm just going to go to the other side. Oh, it's coming. It's coming real fast. Oh, no, there's a seagull. Right, at least it's going to barge all the way in. Oh, it's coming. Woo! Oh gosh! Pretty loud, it even scared the birds away so instantly. And there's a lot of kids right here, hello. Hello UT, you shouldn't be in frame. Okay, that was my fault for leaving it right behind. And we've got this 80, I don't know, it's an A321neo. So I almost had a bit of dyslexia because of the kids that were just barging in right over my footage. And there they come again. Yeah, I just see some children here. And there's another. Look, they're all just scootling away because they've got scooters and stuff. But here we go, we've got the A321neo. Don't tell Copper about this. Because I know YouTube is totally suspicious about children. Well, yes, we've got a Jet 2 A321neo. It's the one that doesn't have the Jet 2 logo on the sides of the plane, but also on the tail of the plane. Seems like I've got lots and lots of plane activity by the looks of it. And strangely enough, uh, I didn't visit the airport like 
last week because my dad had to work encore for basically two days throughout the whole weekend but guess what as sneaky as this sounds I actually spent too much money and it, as even more crazy as this sounds um, it looks like the crowd of children is starting to build up quite a lot somehow um, not sure it's very good or bad at that time but we'll see how it goes Wow, the way it sounds when it's taking off, it almost sounds like a triple seven. Very much so. And we've also got, what plane is that? That straightforward light taxing. Okay. We're dealing with a 737. Oh man, I don't know if there's any other planes that are also coming to land here. Um, yeah, we'll just take over. I'll do a jump cut. I'm just going to go around via the other side because the wind is straightforward taking over. Maybe if I try and... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if I go ahead and stand back just a little bit, I need to get the good... I need to get a very good orientation of the video itself too. I'm not sure how much I can see a bit of plain life, but overall the wind is straightforward attacking my camera and stuff but it shouldn't be too shabby All right who knows maybe i can just have a bit of a scope of any more planes coming to land we'll see about that if not i'll be bailing out and also the days are getting relatively short so i might have to spend here straight forward a very short time yeah i'm just gonna go straight uphill and nothing much else and there's lots and lots of children right here obviously uh, Sheldon Country Park is definitely where there's more children in that place than anywhere else if there's a plane coming to land I might straight forward see whatever the hell that is and uh, we are dealing with a TUI Boeing 737 uh, it's quite somehow relatively uh, small I don't know if I can zoom in perfectly. There's some children on the background. And honestly, I don't know how much I can really see the logo. It's not really that very much of a clear picture, but you can definitely tell. There's a bit of pattern, there's a bit of logo. So I probably presume it's a TUI. Normally, I tend to see them on their bluish colors. That's when they're all nicely decked out. But this one here is just a bland white 737. And look who's coming. There's a motorcyclist. Uh, I remember seeing lots of motorcyclists, there's one right here, and even more disturbing wise as a kid on the motorcycle, that's not really that good. That's very dangerous, you know, very dangerous at all times. And look who's back. There's the motorcyclist. Not what's going on here. Yeah, to be honest, that's very unethically dangerous. Oh, there's a firework! Maybe that's where all of that that um that burning fire must have came from. There's lots lots of firework action going around here on the background here too. Hopefully that's not gonna dis disturb the uh the planes flying and stuff. At least it's not gonna set the planes on fire and kill them. There's lots and lots of uh lots of planes here. I can see another Jet 2737. Yeah, that firework actually kinda of disturbed me just a bit because I don't know how it's gonna really affect the planes from landing and stuff it should cause let's just say little to no harm hopefully I'm not gonna get any signs of dyslexia here but yes we've got a 737 from Jet 2 it's a totally different color I'm actually really surprised that um, that firework just came out of nowhere uh, that's where all that fire must have came from it might be smoke and mirrors smoke and mirrors isn't it it comes, yep, the seems to be some straight for taking off. Definitely see that moving white speck. And hopefully it shouldn't be too busy because if it was during like the warmer and sunnier months, let's just say around spring and summer, it will be an absolute chaotic scene of let's just say, you know, let's just say an excessive load of people coming in to watch the planes from all backgrounds alike. And there's the Jet 2 737 straightforward taxiing. I think it's much more comfy when you're sort of on top of that heli area. Bit of a lumpy area there, but it makes it very perfect to spot the planes. 
from like at a very good view because when I'm like in the lower ground you don't you don't actually see the planes that very well because it's a bit it's a bit lower I want to see that part isn't it don't know if I can really speak fluently in English because yeah this country seems to be inundated with lots and lots of different foreigners different backgrounds like it's very multicultural when you think about it somehow but hey I don't really hate about it it's just that you know it's all about toleration and you know something that we can really facilitate on it's all about facilitations and salutations and that's all salutations to the world that's all I can really say hey? there you go you can see the distinctive red tail on the back jet2.com I'm not sure if that's like the old or the new livery oh we've got another plane that's landing oh <laughs> it looks like we've got the same plane Even more ridiculous, it's also got the same colour. That's all I was going to say, hey? Took longer to detect, but hey, that's what I just said. For the record, that's all, hey? And it looks like that the birds, it looks like they're kind of a bit spooked. Are they fighting or are they just straight foot like spooked by the plane? In fact, quite a few planes, there's about two planes here. Okay, this one is straight foot taxiing. Wind is straight forward attacking my camera, but at least it won't be that of a big problem. Obviously, it's not going to be a big problem, it's only a small minority of a problem. And here it comes, it's just nudging into the wrong way. There you go, looking fantastic. Oh, the seagulls just decided to like fly off right here on the right hand corner, if you can just see it. There you go, that, that was a big seagull that has decided to take up to the sky. And guess who's going to take up to the sky? It's going to be the big metal bird that's right in front of me. Well, the biggest metal bird I can probably see is an A380. And what's even more strange is, apart from smoke on the background, I can also see more smoke. Well, apart from behind me, there's also smoke right in front of me. I bet this could be something else. I bet this could be to do with chimneys from houses or engines from vehicles, heavy machinery and whatnot. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, let's just see this amazing, beautiful, silver-looking beauty up to the skies. It's going to fly up like a silver swallow up to southern skies, out of nowhere in the mid. It's going to take off. It's going to be really loud. Here it goes. Oh, yes. It's pretty fantastic. I love the lights. Up there. I wonder what's that red light on the back. When they, I don't know what's with that flashing red pair of lights. I don't know why it does that. It's quite weird, isn't it? It's there to like signify that the plane's here. Or well, maybe for safety purposes. That's all I can somehow say. And it looks like that the airport is straightforward going to be a bit quieter this time. Because I'm really surprised there's not much I could really film here. Apart from the fact it's relatively quiet, isn't it? Yeah, I tell you what, it's straightforward very very much a somber sort of time because you know there's not many people around here it's the late part of autumn in fact we're going up towards winter that's it not much you, you can really potentially say but hey bit different isn't it somehow and actually just to double check I might have a look at if there's any more planes that might be coming to land, uh, can I see any uh, from right over here? Uh, without filming the people here, because I want to keep my data very personal and not very much publicised. No, not yet at all. Yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and bail out of the airport, because obviously uh, there's not much you could potentially see. I'm going to go out from here, as sneaky as it sounds. That's pretty much the same site I might have just peed on. Might be totally wrong, but I won't cover on that somehow. Oh wait, is that the wrong entrance? Eric, I'm just straight forward trekking through the, uh, well I should say the forest. Oh, sorry, I think I might have got brain damage. A little bit of amnesia, but hey, I'm just going to go out from the airport, because, you know, it's a bit boring, there's not much in the way of planes and stuff, but hey. 
That's pretty fun going out just to spot some planes. Only for a short time because I think the days are getting relatively short. But who knows? I might be spotting planes in Kuala Lumpur. You may never know about that. Maybe in video's time. In another video's time, I might do that somehow. But I've got to remember that when I'm uploading videos in Malaysia, uh, when I'm back in Malaysia, internet can be straightforward, very sporadic at times. You just never know what's going to be like. Oh, it's a nice, nonchalant walk through the uh, lovely woodlands across Sheldon Country Park. Such a fantastic place. Oh no, someone's left there. Soda popped right over in the bushes. This is pretty much feeling like... Oh no, we're going back into urban land. Look at all of this trash. That's just becoming very rassy. Pretty stupid when you see all of that trash lying around. Uh, but what's even more strange is... There's a plane about to land. I'm about to retreat back to the airport anyways. Oh god, there's a plane landing. Hopefully I won't drop my tablet along the way here. There's a lot of roots down here. Oh, I'm back. Oh, it looks like not many people are just straight forward. Uh, oh my gosh, I need to find that plane. Is it somewhere? Oh god, at least I'm not filming people. Hi. Oh my gosh, I can't tell if the plane's here, but I bet it's going to come out of here. Believe me. Oh, here it is. What plane is it going to be this time? There you go, another 737. How unsurprising is that? I'm have to go a little bit closer. <laughs> My camera's off screen. I need to rush it straight up towards the, uh, the plane. Yeah, it looks like there's no other planes. That are straightforward like taking off at the moment, but hey, that's all I can film somehow. Wow, I did not actually realize that jet suit plane was straightforward landing. Who knows, there might be more. I'm have to double check on that area here. And I just heard the tire squealing. That was just beyond perfect, and as we're up towards the afternoon, yeah, I was totally jinxed. Who knows, despite how short the days are, there might be more plane spotters around here. Not as much as summer or spring, but hey, we're going up towards autumn. In fact, we're already in autumn time. Uh, who knows, around winter time, we may start to see a different fabric. We might start to see a bit of a change. Not for the fact that I'm going back to Malaysia, but something else. Uh, I'm just going to walk. Sorry, let me just... Whoa, that's a very fast train. Let me just get it right through camera. Whoa, that train is absolutely fast. That looks like a Class 350. That's very fast. And I'm off to try and see what... Yeah, I can see a... there's a 737. There's no other planes that are just straight for coming to land. But I might as well detect if there's any more planes straight forward coming to land. I might have to detect with my camera. Um, not sure about that. I'm just straight forward curling out towards the middle without people around me. I'm just going to make sure that no one is on screen. Yeah, I can't see any people. Actually, not that many planes. Um, well, thank goodness, I'm just straight forward shoving the people away from the screen so that... People won't get angry about filming or the part in which they are complaining about why are you filming me. But anyways, I'm just going to rush back to the woods this time and my camera brightness levels just end up keep on playing funny. That's not very good. That's very inconsistent in the way I film things. How stupid was I? And I'm about to um, oh, rush back to the car. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! How am I doing this? This is such a risky job. I should have never done this actually. Oh, oh my gosh! Is that the entrance? No. Oh wait, it is. I need to get back to the car before it gets too late. Oh, oh I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! 
Oh my god, so I'm actually almost out of breath now. Oh, somehow I feel potentially uh, absolutely tired. Oh my gosh. Man, I'm absolutely tired, man. I need to go. That's weird, I didn't see that one. That was a private jet. Oh. Oh well.